All right, this is Ryan from Custom Foodscaping. We're here in St. Louis um, in somebody's front yard. We're going to do some water management foodscaping today. So here on the side of this driveway, um, you can see the, the slope is from the driveway and from the street. So we're gonna put a couple berms in uh, to direct the water and spread it and sink it. We're gonna plant some trees and some shrubs over here. And then in this section of the driveway, we're gonna lower some areas to create some rain gardens uh, for some water loving plants and also to keep all the rain that hits this lawn from getting to the driveway. So a rain garden, a rain garden, a rain garden, all connected with a swale and a berm on the back here uh, with a bunch of plants in it. So that's the before. All right, a little progress report after day one. Little machine uh, is very handy. So we've got rain garden number one. There's our connecting swale. Here's another rain garden. More connecting swale. And third rain garden. See if I can get a better angle here given the lighting. So not only is a lot more water gonna get captured in this landscape, um, we just got rid of some kind of old, tired, um, 80s, 70s and 80s landscaping around the house. So it's gonna be a, a refresh, it's gonna be edible, uh, a lot more natives going in than, than we're here before, so there'll be a lot more life in the yard, hopefully. Welcome to the end of day two. We've got our main plantings in place, pawpaws, service berries, and aronia on this water feature. We've got the main berm sheet mulch with cardboard and mulch. Tomorrow we will compost the basins and plant a bunch of water-loving herbaceous plants. So we got out our uh, bunyip, our water level right here, and took our measurements. Uh, our elevations, I should say. And this high point of the system is a full eight inches higher than the overflow, which is exactly opposite. So, um, and obviously the topography of the yard helped us out. It was, it was pretty easy to achieve that. It drops two inches to there, two inches to there, two inches to there, two inches to there. Um, so we, we have, we're pretty confident that um, the system will work and water will fill and infiltrate and should there be any excess, it will exit right here, go over the driveway and then tomorrow we're gonna build our two berms there. So it'll hit those two berms, spread and sink a little bit more and before finally heading to the backyard um, where it can be dealt with in a fine way. No sewers impacted. Welcome back, end of day three. Here's our two overflow berms with a mulberry, a cherry tree, a tart cherry two uh, carmine jewel, three carmine jewel bush cherries, and then a uh, hybrid persimmon up there. So this takes the overflow from the main rain garden system. 
which is now planted mostly. So the overflow is over here and it'll sweep across the driveway and hit that berm and go that way. The basins have been planted, but the berms have not been planted because they're sheet mulched and there's Bermuda grass. So we're um, giving that a chance to die under the cardboard and also come back and make sure um, what the status is before we plant anything in there. But there's a lot more plants going in the berms. Um, but you can see the rain gardens are planted, pawpaws are in. All the overflows have been rocked, plus some uh, bonus decorative rock. And all this stuff is turf repair that you see. So that's, that's that. Happy Friday.